It's official, Uber is going to acquire Postmates for $2.65 billion, but how will this affect drivers? We did a video last week explaining the pros and cons on what would happen if the deal went through, but now that we know it's gonna go through, we're gonna look at it from a different perspective, so stay tuned. Sup everyone, this is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the deal that's going through as far as Uber purchasing Postmates for $2.65 billion. In our last video, we did discuss that if this went through, what are the potential pros and cons? With the biggest pro being, everything would probably be in one app if uh, they decide to merge the apps between uh, Uber Eats and Postmates. Everything would be under the Uber app, it'd be more convenient. With the biggest con being, there's one less player in the delivery market, so, there's just a little less incentive for them to fight over us drivers. As you can imagine, the responses were a little mixed, but a little more biased towards, yeah, we don't want this to go through. Let's take a look at some of y'all's comments. So how would that affect drivers that was deactivated by Uber, but are now driving on Postmates? Well, that's a good question, but uh, overall, I doubt it would affect you in any large way because you signed a separate contract for two different companies. So just because Uber takes over as the parent company, you're contractually still working for Postmates, so that shouldn't have any effect. Less delivery companies is bad news for drivers, but as long as there are three major players in the market, drivers will be okay. Two players like Uber and Lyft will be a disaster. Lyft should acquire Postmates since they don't have a food delivery company, especially since the pandemic, so they can keep up with money flowing. So they can keep the money flowing. That's a good point. I always thought Lyft was gonna acquire Postmates, but uh, it seems Uber beat them to it, or maybe they just couldn't afford to. This is terrible news. I was just doing Postmates because Postmates per mile just went up significantly in my market, and plus they've been busier with deliveries Uber per mile continuously going down year after year. So he's saying that uh, this is pretty much a guarantee that the rates will go down. So as you saw, the comments are before the deal even went through, drivers were like, yeah, we, we, we don't like this. And some new information has come out since that video. So apparently uh, Uber is looking at implementing uh, something called a three batch delivery. This means that within an hour, they want drivers to do three deliveries. And I think they got this idea from Postmates. And uh, I'm be honest, I'm not the biggest fan. Cause uh, while it's fine for drivers to do three deliveries, the way Postmates has done it, and I've never cared for this is, let's say you get a ping to go to a restaurant and these are automatic pickups, so we're not talking about when you place the order. You go and you're picking up the food, and let's say someone nearby orders, you're gonna get assigned that delivery, and it's gonna happen in what's called an auto queue. So I'm not a fan of that because, let's say I don't wanna do that second delivery, but you just tack it on. Each time that would happen, I would cancel, straight up. And I know a lot of drivers would also cancel too, because that's when you clicked on that delivery, that's not what you signed up for. It's one thing if they give you the option to take it, but they just auto queue in there, and uh, drivers don't like that. Now, Uber Eats does the same thing. The only difference is, in that same scenario, that's, that triggers what's known as a stack trip. That means that you're on your way to the restaurant, you'll get a ping This that order is gonna go to that restaurant, so you're getting that ping, but it's still coming through as a normal request, so you can accept or decline. With uh, Postmates, it just auto queues it like, a uh, Lyft does in their driver queue, which I never care for. It seems that Uber has some plans to implement that on some level on a bigger scale. And uh, I don't consider that a good thing. And we don't know if that's gonna bleed over into Uber Eats as far as how they plan on doing things. It's also important to keep in mind that uh, Uber never went past two deliveries in terms of Uber Eats when they did the uh, stack trips. And under this new model, this would be three deliveries. So that means you can get three deliveries from the same restaurant and they could be auto queued From the customers to the investors to the drivers and from Uber and Postmates, there's been a lot of uh, mixed review, mixed feedback about this system because more deliveries under the same umbrella, under the same driver, that also means more room for people to make mistakes, for orders to get mixed up. Obviously the third person would probably get the coldest food and even the second person get cold food depending on how far away the addresses are from each other. So in the last video, I asked you, how do you feel about this deal if it would go through? And y'all left feedback based on that. But now that we know it's gonna go through, how do you feel about the changes that could potentially be coming? I mean, we know for a fact that one change could be coming based on what I just told you. And how do you feel about this uh, 
three batch system per hour. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of it because I was never a biggest fan of stack trips in the first place, even when you're getting the option, because I don't think the pay was enough. I would only take them if I was in an area where I knew people would be tipping. That means that I could do the orders faster and get the tips faster, but under normal circumstances, I wouldn't take stacked orders. But now they're coming out with this system where it's just gonna be auto-queued. I'm gonna be canceling a lot of orders, I'm gonna be honest. They, they gotta change that auto-queue feature. But how do y'all feel about that? I'd love to hear it in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those as well. We publish new videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe if you're new and give this video a like as it helps us out a lot. It's much appreciated. This is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy. Be safe and profitable. I will catch you in the next video.